A new malaria vaccine known as R21 was developed by Britain's Oxford University, along with the Serum Institute of India. It is already in use in Ghana and Burkina Faso. The World Health Organization approved the drug Monday, paving the way for its wider rollout. In areas with seasonal transmission, it reduced symptomatic cases of malaria by 75% in the 12 months following a three-dose series of the vaccine. A fourth dose given a year after the third was shown to maintain protection. The WHO approved the first ever malaria vaccine in 2021, known as RTSS. As a malaria researcher, I used to dream of the day when we would have a safe and effective vaccine against malaria. Now we have two. The WHO says there is little difference in effectiveness between the two vaccines. But the new R21 vaccine is cheaper to make at around two to four dollars a dose, with each patient needing four doses, about half the price of RTSS. The new vaccine can also be made in much greater volumes. The Serum Institute of India is already in line to make 100 million doses a year, with plans to double that output. Experts warn that it won't beat malaria on its own, and that other preventative measures are needed, including mosquito nets. So this additional efficacy of the vaccine is in the presence of this really important intervention. The second is something known as uh, chemo prevention, that's providing uh, drugs to children in high-risk areas, where malaria is particularly seasonal. There were an estimated 247 million cases of malaria in 2021, a small increase on the previous year, and 619,000 deaths, mostly children, in sub-Saharan Africa. We do hope that this, by um, introducing this new vaccine, we can really make a dent in this and get us back on track to the goals which uh, were set by the WHO to reduce malaria by 90% by 2030. The WHO also approved a new vaccine Monday against dengue fever, another mosquito-borne disease common in tropical Latin American and Asian countries. The drug, made by the Japanese firm Takeda, was about 84% effective in preventing people from being hospitalised in clinical trials. Henry Ridgewell, VOA News, London.